King News, my wonderful people. You know, we've been bringing you up to speed with all the attack being instigated against obedience. And honestly, nobody is speaking out against these things that are going on. As we speak, you know, um, attack on you know peter obese another obedient is really trending and uh, we just want you to know that every one of us have to be very cautious and ensure that these people do not intimidate us because most of these things is to ensure they instill fear and once people are scared you know people want to take over people wants to do something to mitigate against anything and everything that could possibly bring them harm but the truth of it is that we need to fight for our rights once upon a time nelson mandela a young man in south africa went into prison for 20 something years did it affect him yes did it cost him yes but at the end of the day the history of africa not just south africa without will not be written without nelson mandela you see uh tinubu convoy was also attacked let's get all the details at Attack on Tinubu's convoy. Police issue statement. Another obedient also was attack. These are some of the things that are happening currently now. Police react to the murder attack on Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu's convoy. The Oshun State Poli Police Command has debunked reports marking the rounds that the presidential candidate of the All Progressive Congress APC Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola convoy was attacked in Oshun state saying it is not true. The, com the commander in the statement on Sunday signed by the spokesperson SPEMEC said his attention has been drawn to the news making rounds and videos trending on social media that Oshun youth attacked Senator Ahmed Bola Tinobu saying that's not very true the com commissioner also explained that the trending video was something from previously from previous time and people are just bringing it up now to say he was attacked to discredit him that there was no such thing peter Obi's um, supporter in nasarawa has also been attacked the labor party presidential candidate peter Obi as they cried attack on his supporter in Nasarawa that led to serious body harm on Joshua Alimon. The attack took place on Saturday when supporters of Peter Obi rally, rally in support of his presidential bid. One of the supporters, Jumi Safi, had posted a photo of a serious injured Joshua as he was receiving treatment and wrote, Dear Police Nigeria, our attention has been drawn to the attack on Mr. Joshua Alemo at the Nasarawa State during the Labour Party sensitization yesterday. We call on you to protect lives of our citizens during, during March to ensure that this does not stand. The Labour Party presidential candidate decried the attack, saying Nigerian civil and political space must remain open for the for Nigerians to be able to exercise their constitutional right of freedom of association and said physical attack on individuals exercising such right is ultimately unacceptable and not be accepted in any way, form or kind. This is wrong and nobody should allow such things to continue. So this is what is happening. Um, you can see for yourself the obedience you can see what is going on a man who went out for you know campaign see what has happened to him he just went out on a campaign and um, see how things have really turned so when you look at it you know that if we don't rise up to the occasion some people will take advantage of us and want to ensure that they you know they they, they, they move and you know destroy the very fabric of our confidence that's what they are trying that's the aim to ensure that when you come when you come out you're not able to do anything okay so it is what it is it is what it is and uh, everybody needs to be aware that we cannot be intimidated no not not anymore those days of somebody doing such things and being accepted is no longer accepted we just need to rise up and ensure that at the end of the day okay we are making the right decision every single time these people are doing everything in their own capacity, in their own way to put Nigerians, you know, in, in a very terrible state. 
and you and I must be the ones that should rise up to the occasion and said, no, not anymore. Not anymore. If previously to this time, you've done it, you've gone away with it. But guess what? This day and age and now that we are in, we're not going to allow you to take advantage of us. Not in a million years. We'll not allow you to take advantage of us. You know, the things that are happening have clearly shown to us that Nigerians, if we do not, uh, if we do not stand our ground, these people will take us for a ride. Yes, they will. That's what they love to do. They will take us for a ride and they will, you know, do their own thing. So it's up to you and I, really. It's up to you and I to ensure that um, we are rising up to education and we are not allowing these things to continue, you know, in any way, form or kind. You see, so many things have been happening these days and uh, Nigerians, we, you and I are the determinants of what happens to us, okay? Because it is called a decision-making time. Yeah, it's a decision-making time and um, these people, they want to do everything, humanly speaking, possible to, to pull themselves on us. You know what they call imposed? They are imposing themselves on us. So let's not allow that imposition to materialize and to stand. Imposition is where somebody do not want something or have not really thought it through of giving their consent. But you, you say, you know what, you must have it. You see, you see they, they imposed it on you that you must have it. So at the end of the day, you see yourself in a very, you know, in a very difficult position. You don't know what to do. You know, you're not very sure of what to do. But guess what? We are wiser. We are stronger. We're not going to allow some individuals, okay, who uh, we, we are what we call bullies, okay? So because they want to impose themselves on you, whether you like it or not, they want to tell you what to do. So these days are days where every one of us must rise to the occasion. Please, let's stand up together as one. Let's shun every iota of, you know, oppression being instigated at us. Rise up. Let's do this together. So at the end of the day, we can be a better people. You see, the things that are happening, things that are going on, are saying to us again and again that some people are just hell-bent on taking what belongs to us for themselves. Nigeria is not their heritage that, you know, they have to be there. Whether we like it or not, they have come to stay. So we just have to accept them. No, 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 no. In Nigeria, we have very learned people, reasonable men and women, well-read, who can, imp who can impart positively on our nation. So we don't want these people to come and be, you know, pushing themselves on us. Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Don't forget to like, or share, subscribe. God bless. Have a good day. Bye for now. Bye-bye.